One of the things I loved about Can You Ever Forgive Me is it's a love story, but with a gay woman and a gay man. How did you think about that kind of love, and, and did that change your thinking about anything? Something that John Lennon said just before he was murdered, where he said that life is what happens in between mm. making your plans. Yeah. That you try and find a way through all of this stuff, and once you understand how somebody does something, then compassion and forgiveness follow suit. And I think that those are the things that then love is part of that. And the power of that is phenomenal. You know, in a world where you think, well, the majority of people, oh, there's all this evil, there's all this stuff going on. The majority of us get along with each other for good or bad. And I think that's, you know, that's always inspiring. And certainly that film the, the, has yeah. made us look at the people that you think are marginalized mm. and shouldn't be, have any focus put on them. And, and it does. And in the middle of that, you find that there's this bizarre platonic love story. Mm -hmm. How do you get to create that character? Do you research? Do you meet other people like him? I don't know about you guys, but Melissa McCarthy obviously had the book, so she could follow that, and it's literally the voice of the, of the author, so you get all the humour and warmth and mm. acerbic, caustic nature. And your character barely exists in the book. Barely exists. So um, I knew that he had a little cigarette holder, so I latched onto that. I had a great friend who's in Chariots of Fire, and he died of AIDS, and he wore... Ian Charlson. Ian Charlson. He wore that... Um, head bandana because he lost all his hair. So mm -hmm. I asked if I could do that. But even with all that knowledge that you have or that you go by the, the roadmap of the script, I still find that the day you actually start interacting with somebody, something happens that I have no idea where that comes from in mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And I see it in other people and I think, oh my God, I can see how brilliant you are. Mm -hmm. But you have to have an intense relationship with somebody that is telegraphed or short-circuited with very, very, in my case, little rehearsal time that uh, we met on a Friday and started shooting on a Monday. You mean you and Melissa McCarthy? Yeah, mm. so that you have to <clears throat> make yourself vulnerable or open to somebody else in a way that very is almost quickly. like, I imagine, like speed dating, where yeah. you've got to go, mm. I've got to be in love with this person mm. and I've got to expose myself physically and emotionally to them completely. So mm. you willingly go in there and it seems almost like magic in a bottle when it does work and you do have mm. a connection with somebody. And I, I'm always riveted by how actors, if they don't have that connection, then have to deal with each other. Right, and obviously you two you, did. You see a love story, and oh, it's so beautiful how they are together, and you, you know they hated each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They didn't speak. Right. Right. How do you get there as an actor? <laughs> how do you get happens, there? Right? You, you go in with, you know, what you were saying, you go in with the best intentions. Like, nobody wants to go in and make a dog of a movie, mm -hmm. and I've been in them, so I know this experience. But if you go in with the best intentions, I think it is almost like again, speed dating, or you go in with the intention, I am going to fall in love with this person, and you hope that it works out. And every job I start, I think, <laughs> how do I start this again? Because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs>
And I, you know, people said to me, how can you be an actor? Because you look too weird. You've got a face like a tombstone. Um, so I said, <laughs> well, Donald compliment. Sutherland has become an actor and he's very tall and has a long face. So, you know, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Herschel Ali. My name is Richard E. Grant. I'm Chadwick Boseman. I am Timothy Chalamet and you're watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Actor Roundtable. Actors Roundtable. Actor Roundtable. On YouTube. 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 YouTube.